Hello students, I am Deepti and today we will learn something really interesting. The different characteristics of living organisms. You and I are living organisms and we should know what is unique about us in comparison with some other living organisms, right? But first, we should know the difference between a living and non-living organism. Here you see a family, a man with his wife and children and animals with their young ones. They all have some things in common. They breathe, eat food, grow and move from place to place. These characteristics can only be seen in living organisms. Can you see this rock? It doesn't breathe, eat food or move from place to place. Therefore, it is a non-living organism. Have you seen your baby pictures? I am sure you were very small and cute. I am sure some of your relatives have told you how much you have changed since then. Well, the change they are talking about is your growth. You have grown over the years and you will continue to grow into a handsome man or a beautiful lady. This is the essence of all living organisms. Here. Let us look at some pictures and see if you can relate to them. See how babies grow into adults? As they grow, their height increases and we can't reduce their height to the earlier height. Even puppies grow into adult dogs and small plants grow into big trees. The babies, puppies and plants have undergone a permanent change in their size. What you saw in these pictures is growth. You and I have gone through it and are still going through it. So what is growth? Permanent change in the size of the living organisms is known as growth. Growth in human beings and animals stops after certain age. Whereas growth in plants occurs throughout their life. We see a dog running to its master, birds flying in the air and fish swimming in water. We see animals moving from place to place in search of food and also running away from other animals to protect themselves from attack. This movement of animals and human beings is called locomotion. It is one of the chief characteristics of living organisms. Animals possess different organs for locomotion which are called locomotory organs. On the contrary, plants do not move. They are firmly fixed in the soil and remain in the same place throughout their life. If we eat nutritious food, we get energy for growth movement of the body and other responses of the living organisms. Living organisms get energy from the food they take in. You must be wondering what about plants? Other than growth, what are the common features do we have with them? Well, plants also produce their own food through the process of photosynthesis. Plants prepare food in the chloroplasts present in the green leaves. With the help of sunlight, water and carbon dioxide are supplied to chloroplasts for this process to take place. Plants use this food for their own metabolic activities and the rest they store in different parts of the plants. 
Green plants prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. The food is prepared in the chloroplasts which are present in the green leaves. Water and carbon dioxide are supplied to chloroplasts to prepare food in the presence of sunlight. Some of this food is used for plants for their metabolic activities. The remaining food is stored in different parts of the plants. Now you have just seen that plants like us can produce their own food. So do you think animals can do the same? No, they cannot. Animals are fully dependent on other plants and animals for food. 